Hi, this is Dana Berman, and this is making output and file name templates in After Effects. I have a project that I'm working on, and the client requires uh, three separate movie files, uh, one to be used with one equipment uh, with a green background so it can be keyed out, and another one to use with separate equipment where it needs two movies, one with the color information and one with the transparency. So I'm going to show you how to make output templates so that it's easier to do this sort of work. So you don't have to set up three separate renders for the same project. Here I'm showing you normally the background color is black. Uh, for my purposes I changed the comp background color to green so it can be keyed out. And uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, it, this would be an issue if we were saving an alpha channel out in the movie but we're not, we're saving separate movies. Now in the render queue, we have an output module where it lets us select presets for our uh, output settings. With the black diamond opens up a drop-down list that lets you select the different templates. At the very bottom of that list is a Make Templates button that opens the Output Module Templates panel. It takes the settings you already had in the output module uh, when you make a new template. So we're mostly set up as it is because I already had a photo JPEG uh, preset set. I'm typing in the settings name. In this case, it's going to be the RGB straight channel, the straight color information with no transparency. Click on edit button and that opens up the panel and you can see the settings. The thing we want to change now, in this case, is the color setting. We want the color to be straight and unmatted. And it shows you a little warning at the bottom of the panel. You don't see it on the screen, but it's there. The next, I want to duplicate this because I want to do the same thing, but I want an alpha channel without the color information. So I change the name to Photo JPEG Alpha and click on the Edit button. And here I change the channels to alpha instead of RGB. Next we're going to look at the uh, changing the file name uh, template. In the uh, output 2 there's a little drop down for some presets and we're going to select on custom. Normally this is just the comp name and a file extension. I'm going to delete the file name in this case from the drop down, add property drop down, I'm going to re-add comp name and uh, to separate it, I'm going to put an underscore in here so that um, just gives us a little separation. From the Add Property drop-down again, I'm going to click on Channels, and that'll show us which channel is, in the, uh, is being rendered with the movie. And also click on the little disk icon to save it as a, as a preset. In this case, I'm going to do comp, score, channel, score, ext for extension. And it's going to give me a warning because I already have one named that, but we'll just save over it. Let's look at the output modules now. We have some new ones in there that we just made. Uh, the PhotoJPEG Alpha and the RGB straight versions. I'm going to select the PhotoJPEG one that I had set before and turn the audio back on. Because uh, remember, I need to do a green screen version, then the RGB straight, and then the alpha version. From the composition menu, select Add Output Module. That puts a new output module in the bottom. Select the alpha, or select the RGB straight preset we made. Now go back up, add another output module. This time, select the uh, the alpha preset we made. In the Output Two drop down, we'll select the Comp Channels. EXT preset we made and that will automatically add the alpha and RGB to the end of the file name. For the top one I'm going to manually change the the last bit to green to designate it a green screen clip. Um, I could make a preset that, for that as well but I'll just tough it out this time change this one and that's it. Now we only have to render one time and we get three separate movies and that is a great time saver.